Hey guys, welcome to Water Baby Tarot. This is the January crystal healing video for earth signs. So for Capricorns, Tauruses, and Virgos. So for those who are new to my channel or new to these kinds of videos that I do, I basically use the Crystal Wisdom Healing Oracle deck. All of the decks that I use, by the way, are linked below. So you guys can go ahead and check those out if you guys want to purchase them for yourselves. I basically just link them to where I buy them from, which is mostly Amazon. And you can also get a lot of really cool crystals, 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 excuse me, tarot cards and oracle decks off of etsy as well okay anyway guys so i use this deck to pull cards to see what crystals you guys would benefit from for the month of january which is how i set the intention and then we go ahead and pull some tarot cards to see why you need those crystals <clears throat> Now keep in mind guys, these are very, very general readings, so I always read the descriptions of the crystals for you guys, so you guys can decide for yourselves if you really need them or not, and if the crystals are really resonating for you. Now I can't stress enough when it comes to picking out your own crystals, uh, to really go by what feels right for you. We all have a very different frequency, and because of that, all crystals also have a different frequency, and because of that, uh, it's really important that you pick out your own crystals, but this is just a guide on what will ben benefit you for the month of January, okay? I know, some little my words a lot today but I feel really good I feel like I can really get back to work um I have been I really have been struggling with my energy in the last month or so and last night a friend did Reiki for me long distance after dealing with some stuff some medical stuff um and I feel really good I feel like my energy is actually back so let's go ahead and just dive right in so Capricorns Tauruses and Virgos let's see who's gonna go first yeah <laughs> Sorry, in true Taurus fashion, I heard Taurus. <laughs> okay, Taurus, you're first, okay? Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me, Tauruses, 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 Tauruses. Uh, whoa, that was very quick. We've got Mal Malachite. Malachite. We have Malachite, okay? Uh, Taurus, what's going on with you guys in the month of January? I feel a lot of sexual energy with you guys. Not surprising, Venusian sign, earthy sign. Yeah, a lot of sexual energy with you. Cooking, what? That's a weird, that's really weird. And some of you guys are gonna be cooking a lot more at home in the month of January. I feel like in an effort to get healthy, but also towards is you guys like your food. You guys really love your food, you're big foodies. Um, but I feel you guys are doing a lot more cooking at home as opposed to eating out. Malachite's also really great um, healing energy, a healing stone as well. Not, it's not always associated with the sacral, but it is also known for it to be a good Scorpio stone, which is why it's associated with the sacral, um, interchangeably, vice versa, right? Taurus. Oh, perperate. Someone got this in the water reading. I think it was Pisces. I think Pisces got perperate. Yeah, you guys have been going through some healing as well, it looks like. Um, major, major healing. Major healing. Major healing. But you guys feel really good. I actually feel like you guys are going to be in really strong standing. I feel like you guys are really grounded in the month of January. So even though you have a lot of healing to do, which is just indicative of the eclipse energies that we're all in, we're all subjected to, we're all going to be going through that. <clears throat> Excuse me, intense need to heal. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh my goodness, Taurus. Uh, my throat chakra hasn't been happy either. Also, a lot of people have been experiencing that, not just me. So just bear with me as I'm doing these readings. But as grounded as you are, it's like you're very aware you need to do healing, which is really interesting. You're very aware of the healing you need to do, but you're grounded about it, which is really good. It's really good, Taurus. You're almost taking it on like it's just on your to-do list. <laughs> very Dorian. It's like, wake up and do yoga, and then shower, eat, do my healing, and then go back to work. Like, it's very, you're just very aware you have to do it. And you're just doing it. You're putting it on the to-do list. What other crystals will benefit my Taurians for the month of January? Oh, very nice. What other crystals will benefit my Taurians for the month of January? All right, now we have Appetite, which is just a beautiful crystal. I just love the way that looks. But again, more healing, more healing energies. I do feel like you guys are working on your communication. I feel like you guys are smoothing out your communication, actually. You're being more careful in the words you choose. Taurus, I love you. You're being more careful in the words that you choose when you communicate to people. Oh, how do I say this? You're also, how do I say this in a PC way? Because uh, I'm also trying not to be as blunt. I'm very, very blunt with you guys. I know a lot of you guys appreciate it. Some of you guys don't, though. Uh, I'm just trying to be better about that myself. So it's funny this is coming up for Taurus, which is, I'm a Scorpio, so it's like my natural seventh, right? 
how do I say this without sounding like an ass? Um, you are matching your communication to uh, the capacity that people can understand. That's probably not the best way to say that, but I think a lot of you guys understood what I was trying to say there. Um, because Taurus says, you guys, I find that you guys are great communicators. Uh, most people would disagree with me. Um, but I find Taurians to be very direct in the way they communicate, very matter of fact in the way they communicate. But I appreciate that communication style. Um, and sometimes you can come off a bit abrasive. Sometimes you can, sometimes not. Um, but you're also Venusian. You're also Venusian. So you do have a very um, talented way of communicating with people. But sometimes that can be lost on certain people who don't have the capacity to understand that, okay? But you're basically going to start um, being careful in how you communicate and start matching to people's capacity to be able to understand the words that you're using, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and actually read these off. Where am I? Okay. It's like, where's the book? Malachite first. Okay. The subconscious mind. Malachite brings to light ingrained programming and toxic beliefs. An amulet against pain. This is a powerful stone for emotional transformation. It stimulates the survival instinct. Unconscious programs or beliefs cause psychosomatic disease. Go willingly into the depths. Therapy may be needed. Your deepest fears become your greatest gifts as hidden abilities come to light. Go where angels fear to tread to bring back insights for your own healing and that of others. Explore your depths. J danger threatens. Not all is as it seems. Stand firm in your power and have no fear. You survive. Protect yourself against unseen forces or powerful minds that manipulate you. Learn psychic protection. Take a course to call upon past life skills. Spread your wings. Do not become embroiled with a charismatic man. Detoxify your mind, body, and emotions and recognize deep psychosomatic uh, causes of disease are a path to well-being. Frequency of the stones earthy to high. It's great for the heart chakra, the root, the sacral, and the solar plexus. Great for Scorpios in transforming the subconscious mind. <clears throat> Excuse me. So there's going to be some shadow work. You guys are going to get so sick of me saying this word. And yes, I'll be doing a video on it. I'm just playing catch up first. Okay. Once I get caught up on the crystal readings um, and I do an energy shift reading and I can start the January readings for Patreon, then I'm going to do the shadow work video. I actually intend to do it tomorrow because I think I'm going to get a lot done today. But anyway, um, you guys have been doing a lot of shadow work. This is great for that. This is really, really great for that. And I, I also like the stone because it does affect... Um, it does affect the sacral and it does affect the heart as well, which I think actually really go hand in hand together because your sacral and you know, it's funny because Pisces got something very similar. They didn't get the stone, but they had a lot of heart chakra and sacral stuff going on. So if Pisces is significant to you, I suggest you watch that reading, the water sign reading. Anyway, I feel like those two chakras really go hand in hand because with the sacral, it is the creative center. It's also the sex center and your heart chakra really is important for both, right? For both your creative efforts and, you know. Your other ones, your fun ones, okay? But Malachite, Malachite. So let's do Perperites. And then we'll do Appetite. The Curse Clearer. Extremely effective for psychic... <laughs> Sorry, I like... Uh, you know how like people's abilities have been just getting more stronger and stronger and some of us have gotten new ones that have come online. So in the last couple months, I feel like it's probably the last couple months. Wow. That's so strong. Um, I've been psych I, my psychic smells have been all amplified, which is really kind of annoying because of all the ones that could be turned on, it's like smell, <laughs> smell. <laughs> I smell chocolate, which is like that's really annoying because I'm like, well, I don't have chocolate with me. Um, it's almost like a bakery, like intense. It's overwhelming. Like someone has like. 50 chocolate cakes that are in the oven. Like, that's how it smells. And you guys might be a baker. It's fun. We were getting cooking, weren't we? We were getting cooking in the beginning of your reading. Um, it smells so good. <laughs> and I don't have anything like that in my kitchen. Yeah, it smells like 50 chocolate cakes, honest to God. Some of you guys might be deciding to open a bakery or um, just baking a lot. Oh, okay, Taurus. I like that. Some of you guys are finding stress relief in that. I really like that. Some of you guys are finding it's a good stress reliever for you to cook or to bake. Just don't eat all the 50 cakes, okay? <laughs> um, but I like that. I really like that. So let's get back to this. Wow. Purple Ray grounds high frequency energy, harmonizing the physical body to the new vibration. It helps you to break away from self-destructive or self-limiting behavior. Energizing the physical and mental bodies, it overcomes tiredness, apathy, and despondency. Old habits and patterns, including those inherited from ancestors, may keep you mired in the past. Subtle energetic 
subtle energetics of ancient curses or ill wishing ill wishing could be affecting you <coughs> excuse me these may be personal or passed down through the family line you may be open to the mental influence from others be open to new ways to heal oh my god that's so overwhelming sorry i'm keep smelling that chocolate and it's definitely not my neighbors because my neighbors don't cook it's definitely not my neighbors <clears throat> Protect yourself appropriately, but do not be overly defensive. Check out whether you have inadvertently offended anyone. If so, make reparation where possible. If not, send unconditional love and forgiveness without needing to know why or where. The past creates the present, but the past can be repaired and the present healed. The frequency of the stone is earthy. Uh, it's great for uh, the soul star and stellar gateway and the root chakras, and great for being a lineage breaker. Sorry, I'm getting this thing about food again. Um, so you guys might be overeating. Some of you guys might be overeating. Some of you guys might actually be stress eating. I'm getting food around stress and stress relief. So some of you guys are finding that cooking and baking is helping you relieve stress. But some of you are actually eating out of like um, emotional, it's like emotional stress eating. So just be mindful of that. Some of you guys, there's a pattern you're actually going to be trying to break in the coming months. Not surprising given January, a lot of like resolutions are made. Oh, 11, 11, I looked up at the phone. Um, a lot of resolutions are made at this time and people try to stick to them. Most people don't, which I feel like it's cool to do resolutions, but I personally feel like if you really want it, want to do something, you should just do it no matter what time of year it is, right? But some of you guys are really trying to focus on that. Um, is there anything else I'm getting with this food? They keep bringing up this food thing. It's it's like, it's really bothering me if I'm being honest because I can't stop smelling that chocolate. Okay. Appetite, acceptance. Appetite works at the interface between consciousness and matter to let go of what is outworn in your life. Clear away confusion or guilt. Accept the truth about yourself. You are a complex being with credits and de deficits. Recognize these without judgment. Yeah, this is all about integrating your shadow, guys. Integrating your shadow. Move away from aloofness or social alienation and show others who you truly are. Use your perspicacity. <laughs> You have much to offer by way of service as you access insights for the collective good. <clears throat> Be inspired. Discern truth within. Recognize what is real in your world and restructure your reality. Don't be deceived by false friends. See what is beneath. Develop your metaphysical perception. A lot of you have let people take advantage of your loyalty. Sorry, there's a little downloads coming in. A lot of you have let people take advantage of your um, of your loyalty and and you, you've seen the good, and this has also been a theme for people lately, um, you, you've seen the good in people when it's not really there. Kind of like seeing someone's highest potential, which they don't possess. It's potential, right? Um, some of you are learning uh, the importance of that, of not falling in love with someone's potential and not um, sticking with someone because you understand what their potential is and not who they actually are in that moment. It's more like you're stuck on who they could potentially be. So some of you are also recognizing that because it's actually worked to your disadvantage and they've taken advantage of you because of that. Anyway, keep, in, keep going, keep going. Uh, where was I? Uh, yeah, yeah, don't be deceived by false friends. See what is beneath. Develop your metaphysical perception. Things improve steadily. Understand that circumstances are merely learning opportunities. It is time to be service to others. Teach what you know. Your intuition knows what's best for you. The frequency of the stone is high. It's great for the third eye and the root. Great for Geminis and discerning the truth within. Okay. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and pull some cards for you. I'm going to be using Gilded for this one. Ah. Oh. <clears throat> Why do my Taurians need these crystals from the month of January? Why do my Taurians need these crystals from the month of January? Why do my Taurians need these crystals from the month of January? Why do my Taurians need these crystals from the month of January? <clears throat> Why do my Taurians need these crystals for the month of January? Seven of Pentacles, Taurian energy. So evaluation, evaluation of your efforts. Yeah, I really feel like you've given a lot to people, Taurus. You've been working on investing, investing in something, but uh, relating to other people. Excuse me, that could be a business, that could be a household, that could be just purely a relationship. Some of you have invested in friends. This is interesting. I'm getting something about your confidence. 
You've na naively invested in friends or your peers. Oh, Taurus, this it gave you a false sense of confidence. And I don't think it was coming from a bad intention. I don't think you were necessarily making a logistical mistake. You just naively invested in the wrong people. And that's what I mean by false sense of confidence. It gave you confidence, but the truth of it is you naively invested in them. You're going to be healing that. You're going to be healing that. You're also going to be realizing that and recognizing that. Yeah, that that loyalty thing that I was picking up on before. You allow people to take advantage of your loyalty and that gave you a false sense of confidence because you're realizing they took advantage of you. Okay, this could be purely in the workplace. I feel like it's about friends, though. I feel like it's about friends and peers, but it could be your family. It could be the workplace. Um, but that's what I'm getting with that. And in this healing, wow, okay. And within this healing, it is triggering your shadow because you're upset, but that's going to let you to integrate it. And like I said, it's like you're putting it on your to-do list. It's like you're recognizing that maybe this isn't working out the way you expected and that's okay. It's the epitome of the energy we're in right now. Things are not as they expect as we expected. So we're making the right changes and doing the healing we have to do to integrate all this shit so we can get on the right path, right? Or get recorrected if we need to. This is a course correction. And the course correction can be minimal. It can be major. It could just be, oh, I don't need those people and that's okay. <laughs> or it could be, I don't need anything I got right now. I got to change everything. It just depends on your situation. But naively investing in these people gave you that false sense of confidence, you know that now. So you're putting it on your to-do list. It's so funny, Taurus. I love you so much. You're putting it on your to-do list to address it. And by addressing it, you're doing that integration of your shadow work and your healing. It's like, it's very methodical and it's very just like calculating and it's just very direct and proactive. I really like it actually. I really like it. Some of this might take hardly any time. Some of this might take a lot of time. Everyone's in a different spot with this. Why else do my Taurians need these crystals for the month of January? Why else do my Taurians need these crystals for the month of January? Let's see what we got here. Yeah. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo energy could also be Earth or Fire. Look at all those pentacles. <laughs> all those pentacles. Yeah, of course. In a Taurus reading, it would be all about your pentacles. But Knight of Pentacles in reverse, something's at a standstill or it's a very stubborn energy. I'm actually getting stubborn. It's stubborn. And I don't think it's bad for you to be stubborn. I think it's actually very beneficial for you to be stubborn right now because you're being stubborn with those people you naively invested in. Again, work, friends, family, otherwise, it's time that you gave them. Some of you gave them money. Most of you, it's just time that you gave them, time and energy. For some of you, a project came to a stall, like a screeching halt, a screeching halt. Oh, some of you had, um, had some... <laughs> Uh, bad reactions to that. It came to a halt for a reason. It was going to crash and burn. So it came to a halt for a reason. That's for some of you. All of this is, is stuff you're reconciling within yourself emotionally. And then you're just like, once you do that, you're just getting on with shit. Very Taurian. Why else do my Taurians need these crystals for the month of January? Why else do my Taurians need these crystals? Ah, what did I say? You're getting on with shit. That four of swords, Libra energy, taking that time out to reconcile your shit. And then six of wands, victoriously getting on your horse and just moving on with shit. That's like the epitome of what I just described. Very beautiful. Very beautiful, Taurus. Why else do my Taurians need these crystals? The month of January. Got two more. Oh, three more cards out here. Why else do my Taurians need these crystals for the month of January? Wow, okay. Oh, this is interesting. Ooh, 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 who this? <laughs> who this, Taurus? Seven of Wands in reverse, the Leo energy, Knight of Swords, Gemini could also be air or fire with the Queen of Swords. Libra energy could also be air or water with the Five of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy. Whoever this Queen of Swords is, male or female, doesn't matter. You guys know how this works. We read energy is not gender, okay? This Queen of Swords is actually speaking out about something and five of pentacles in reverse they're coming out of the cold to speak to you okay or they're in a bad place in their own stability and their own security and they're speaking on it seven of wands in reverse though 
They don't have a leg to stand on. Whatever they're speaking, it's out of desperation. And I don't like to say it like that, but that is what I'm getting. They're speaking out of desperation. Seven of Wands, when it's upright, is a very courageous energy. It's a very much like confident, this is, this is what I want and this is my truth and this is what I need. When it's in reverse, it's someone who is um, lacking all of that. I don't know another way to say that. Lacking all of that. Lacking the confidence, lacking the courage. Someone who can also act out of like tantrum-y energy. Like that's what I'm saying. It feels desperate. And I don't like to use the word desperate, but that is what I'm getting with this. And usually the Queen of Swords doesn't do that. So I'm really kind of surprised. The Queen of Swords can be a divorcee card. Could also be a widower. It's someone who's usually um, on their own. Someone who's usually on their own, usually acts on their own. But Five of Pentacles in reverse, they want to come out of a down and out state. They want to come out of a place of being isolated or I'm actually hearing desolate. Ooh, that's a, that's a little bit of a harsh word, but they're actually telling me desolate. This could be anyone to you, Taurus. This could be a mother figure. This could be a um, father figure. It could be male or female, doesn't matter. But it's someone who has isolated themselves is what I'm feeling isolated themselves or been isolated and it's someone who's speaking out of desperation and they're speaking their truth but it's out of desperation and they don't have a leg to stand on whatever it is they're speaking it seems like whatever state that they've been in they put themselves there this might have been someone that you gave your loyalty to naively and they took advantage of it and you probably took the efforts you needed to do like I said very methodically of like okay I understand I, I shouldn't have invested in these people let me do what I got to do you go into your four swords, your mini hermit mode. You do what you got to do when you reconcile your shit and you get up on your horse and you are victorious in healing your stuff and going about what you have to do. And in doing what you have to do, you might have cut this person out. Okay. Over energy, we do have a three of wands. Aries energy, your ships are coming in and you know it. You know it. Like I said, it's very methodical. You're doing what you have to do to be ready for your ships to come in and to get on your path. That's it. It's it's so simple, Taurus, and you keep it simple sometimes. <laughs> That's just how a Taurus functions, right? It's how a Taurus functions. I love this energy. I really do because it's like life throws, throws you curveballs, at least the Taurians I'm tapped into right now, and you just deal with it. You put it on your to-do list. You deal with it. You cut some people out. At least one person's acting out towards you about it, but you know good things are coming your way, so you're going to be fine. You're basically getting yourself ready to embrace this. Even if some people are going to lash out at you for it. Okay. All right, Taurus. Very beautiful, though. I like that for you guys. All right. Who's next? We have Virgo, Capricorn, Virgo, Capricorn. Virgo, Capricorn, Virgo, Capricorn, Virgo, Capricorn, Virgo, Capricorn. Ooh, you guys are kind of at a stalemate. I experienced this with Cancer and uh, Scorpio, too. But you guys are at a stalemate here. Virgo and Capricorn, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, Virgo, we're gonna go, Virgo, <laughs> Virgo, we're gonna go with you guys here, okay? You guys are very quiet. You guys might be in hermit mode in January. Um, is there anything going on in Virgo? No, there's nothing going on in the sign of Virgo. What crystals do my Virgos need? Damn it, you guys are in dark energy too. Yeah, everyone's gonna be in this kind of energy. Um, you're in very dark energy. You're very quiet, Virgo. I don't even feel like you're planning anything. You're just kind of sitting in it. You're kind of just sitting in it. You're feeling it. You're allowing yourself to feel it. You're embracing it. You're embracing it in a quiet way, and there's nothing wrong with that. It works for you. That works for you. What crystals do my Virgos need? It feels very gentle, too, I have to say. It feels very gentle. What crystals do my Virgos need for the month of January? You might be isolating yourself a lot, Virgo. I'm just being honest. You might be isolating yourself a lot. It feels very hermit mode to me. I'm actually seeing just night scenes. Like, nightscape is almost what I want to say. Like, nightscapes. Like, it's all nature, but it's, it's all nighttime. Ooh, Brandenburg Amethyst. So, yeah, some massive healing. <laughs> massive healing. <laughs> Ah, again, it's what everyone's going through. Massive healing going on for you. But you're like I said, you're doing it quietly. You're doing it alone. You're you're very isolated. I can feel it. You, you're wanting a lot of quiet time right now. Some of you might even find you're going to go days without speaking. Which I don't think is bad. But for some people, 
they can't really handle doing that or they, it puts them in an unhealthy place. So Virgos, just check in with yourself if you're that kind of person. I don't think most of you. I don't think most of you are, though. What other crystals do my Virgos need for the month of January? Ooh. Oh, interesting. Yeah, more emotional healing. Peridot. It's funny because I heard this for Cancer, and you guys have very similar energy going on here, okay, that Cancer did. Um, but Brandenburg Amethyst and Peridot, if you don't like the way I pronounce crystals, that's okay. Words are not my forte. We all have different pronunciations for things. You guys know what crystal I'm talking about? What other crystals do my Virgos need for the month of January? What other crystals do my Virgos need for the month of January? I think water is going to be very beneficial for you, Virgos. If you can access bodies of water, I suggest you do it. We have two other cards that came out here. Whoa, both Jaspers. I like that. A lot of grounding. This is a lot of grounding. Not surprised you're an earth sign. So make sure you ground yourself. But I think a body of water would help you with that. A river, a creek, ocean, lake, what have you. But I, something that has flow to it, that's going to help you with the purging. I feel like you guys actually have to purge. This is interesting. Most people that I, most signs that I've done in the, with this energy, they just had to like heal. You have to purge. I'm getting that you actually have to purge and you're going to have to be grounded to do it. A lot of us are realizing that there's stuff we haven't dealt with, but Virgos, I feel like for you, it's, it's immense. This is interesting. It's, oh, there it is. There's a little annoyance there. You're kind of annoyed. Virgo, let's get into this. Let's have a real talk here. You're kind of annoyed because you've done a lot of work. Some of you are really pissed off at yourselves. Don't be mad at yourself. Some of you are realizing that there's a lot of work you've ignored, even though you've done a lot of work on yourself. Don't be mad at yourself for that. That's okay. Um, it happens. But I can feel it. You're angry with yourself. And I think that's also why you're being quiet. Sometimes when Virgos are mad, sometimes they're just quiet. Don't be pissed about that. can hear you guys in our dialogue uh but it should but it wouldn't have been this hard that's okay that's okay everyone heals in their own way everyone purges in their own way but i do feel an actual purging that needs to take place as opposed to just healing right healing we can do in reflective states we can do that through many different forms of therapy like art therapy music therapy that's healing right healing is also acceptance about issues and that often is enough for people but purging is actually getting it out of your system it's crying it's speaking about it it's it's exerting energy to get that out of your system and out of your energy field that's purging versus healing a lot of you are going to have to purge you're going to have to be really grounded during during this time because a lot of you i can feel are going to be angry with yourselves and don't don't do that try not to, try really hard to avoid that um it just is what it is. There's nothing wrong with that. It just is what it is. I also feel that some of you are going to be doing such healing and purging that if you're not grounded, uh, oh, how do I say this? Let's just say it's going to be really hard for you to stay aligned. Okay. But that's what these two here are for, to stay grounded and to also make sure that you're really staying on your path of abundance. You, you deserve abundance, Virgo, and you will have it. You're just going to have to go through this integration, which all of us are. But for you, the Virgo's untapped into, it feels really deep. It feels really immense. And some of you are kicking yourselves because it's work that you feel like you should have been aware of a while ago. And you just, you feel like you're getting bombarded with it. Almost like the weight of it is way more than you thought it would be. Because maybe there's more stuff than you thought there'd be. But that's because I feel like you've been a little blinded to it along the way. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. So you guys get four crystals. So let's go ahead and read these off. We'll just go in order. We'll do Brandenburg Amethyst. I've got Clyde next to me. Okay. Brandenburg Amethyst, the perfect blueprint. A master healer, the Brandenburg Amethyst holds the perfect blueprint of your soul and all that is. It heals physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, karmic, planetary, and ancestral auric layers and imprints the most perfect energetic pattern possible. You are a being of pure consciousness and a wonderful just the way you are. Embrace the clarity of your core being. Let go of mental constructs, karmic imprints, soul imperatives, and relationships that no longer serve. Heal the past. Reframe previous... Why do I have a word? I have problems with that word. Reframe previous choices you have made in your life and take a new pathway to step into your soul purpose and expand higher dimensions of your soul. 
You are perfect exactly as you are in this present moment. Step onto your soul path and seed your future with potential. Self-discipline and clear focus bring your dreams into fruition. Aim for the highest. You are perfect exactly the way you are. The frequency of the stone is extremely high. Great for all the chakras and um, great for seeing the perfection in each moment. Pisces have this as well, which is their natural counterpart. So I'm not surprised that came out for you guys. We have Peridot. Emotional cleansing. Peridot frees the mind from unwelcome, envious thoughts and night terrors. It is a transmutative and pure. It's transmutative and purifying. You are deeply emotional and may possessively cling to the past or beat yourself up over mistakes. Yeah. By nature, jealous. You have dark thoughts. Detoxify your emotions. Learn to forgive and let go. Follow your own life path without judging yourself or being envious of others. You have the power to go through fiery transmutation and emerge transformed. Use energy wisely. Recognize how outside influences operate in your life. Develop your own protection. Learn to rely on your own inner guidance. Perido indicates farewells and disappointments in love. Avoid jealousy. Be assertive without aggression. You have a wonder. You have a powerful destiny and, and great integrity. Money is earned from your talents. Envy and jealousy harm you as well as hurting others. The frequency of the stones earthy to high. Great for the heart chakra and the solar plexus. Great for Leos, Virgos, Libras, Scorpios, and Sagis, and for emotional purification. All right, let's do the next, the Jaspers here. Ooh, nasally. Kimbaba Jasper, ancient echoes. Kimbaba Jasper attunes your personal biorhythms to the nat natural cycles of the planet. This crystal also facilitates deep clearing of your mo of your karmic body and the ancestral line. When you live in your head, very Virgo. <laughs> Mercury. When you live in your head rather than the physical world, your cellular structure becomes unstable and your metabolism is thrown off balance. You may not be assimilating oxygen or nutrients such as minerals and vitamins. Remember that ideas are nutrients too. Disruption of your um, nervous and immune systems may be caused by ancient traumas and family dramas. Getting in touch with the ancestors and understanding the processes of creation helps you to recognize the value of, recon of recycling. Jesus, hold on. Let me go back a little bit. I really botched that sentence. Give me a second. Getting in touch with the ancestors and understanding the processes of creation helps you to recognize the value of recycling the past to create a more potent future. Check out what has passed down the ancestral line and utilize homeopathic healing for miasm such as tuberculosis. By changing how you view things, you dramatically improve your well-being. The frequency of the stone is earthy. It's great for the, uh, the root, the heart uh, chakras, and for reconnecting the ancient wisdom and the roots of being. Yeah, a lot of grounding right there. A lot of grounding. All right, now let's do Bumblebee Jasper. Ooh. Trust. Bumblebee Jasper is startling colors and still a new vibration. The stone stimulates new projects, bringing you the message that you must have honesty in your life. You are a divine being with immense inner riches, holding the bright, energetic light of the sun you're born to carry out a specific task charismatic you naturally attract people you have inner strength and courageously go where others do not dare harvest your resources and put them to work to heal this ease a moment of fertilization you're being open to new possibilities remember that the bee is not aerodynamically designed to fly but it does cut through doubt and uncertainty relax and focus clear sight isn't is needed visualize your future love and good fortune rush toward you Grasp opportunities, be a leader, but avoid arrogance. Trust the universe. <clears throat> Excuse me. You overcome obstacles. Someone new lights up your life. Food intolerances and other allergies may underlie any physical discomfort you experience. The frequency of the stone is earthy. It's great for the sacral and the solar plexus. Great for Leos, Virgos, and Sagis. And for triumphing over the impossible. Oh, I love those for you guys. My throat's getting active. Hold on. Mm. okay okay virgos let's pull some cards here i'm gonna do cosmic for you guys why do my virgos need these crystals the month of january mm. uh, excuse me why do my virgos need these crystals the month of january Why do my Virgos need these crystals for the month of January? Why do my Virgos need these crystals for the month of January? 
Okay. Why do my Virgos need these crystals for the month of January? I'm getting a lot of home energy, like actual home. Your living space. Fractured. There's something fractured about your living space. And it's really affecting you energetically. Why do my Virgos need these crystals for the month of January? Let's see what we have here. Ooh! Three of Pentacles, Capricorn energy, and we have the Princess of Pentacles, also known as the Page. Could be doing with a younger um, energy, not necessarily though. Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles is teamwork, it's collaboration, it is building. I keep getting home with this. This is very strange. I keep getting home with this. You're yearning for another home. You're hurting, you're yearning to fix a home. Some of you, it's um, some of you, it's actually just uh, doing what's the word? Remodeling. <laughs> it's like there's a word for this. Some of you, it's just remodeling your home or needing to change your home environment to fit to fit your energy or to benefit your energy some of you have a fractured home environment either because the people in your home environment are fractured themselves um or there's something wrong with the actual foundation of your home physically speaking or energetically speaking this is wanting to fix that wanting to fix that wanting to repair that especially with like page of pentacles or an also known as a princess of pentacles that's taking on a new approach looking at something in a new way or wanting something new to build something new but i feel like it's about your home space i do feel like it's about your home space Why do my Virgos need these crystals for the month of January? This is interesting. Virgos, ooh, some of you are, are wanting to do this with an apology. Like some of you actually want to do the apologizing. Keep in mind that can be vice versa. Someone might need to apologize to you, but I feel like it's coming from you almost like it's an offer. Like, hey, I'm sorry for this. Can we fix this? Hey, I'm sorry for this. Um, can we repair this? It's about repair. Why do my Virgos need these crystals for the month of January? Ooh, hoo -hoo. Ace of Cups. That card did say someone new might light up your life here. Ace of Cups, this is love or an offer of love. I feel like you want to do this with love. You want to do this with love, but I feel like it's about fixing something within the home or home environment, but you want to do this with love. And some of you, it's coming with an apology. Or you could be receiving an apology. Keep that in mind as well. Why do my Virgos need these crystals? For the month of January. Why do my Virgos need these crystals for the month of January? High Priestess in Reverse. Piscean Energy could also be Gemini for me as a reader. Uh, this is Secrets Coming Out. Secrets Coming to Light. Awareness. Awareness. I feel like some... I really feel like it's something that's been hidden. Something that's been hidden is coming out. For some of you, it's, it's stuff that you've been denying about yourself or denying about your own wounds, which I was picking up on already, right? It's like stuff that really needs to be brought to the forefront, the inner work that has to be done. It's coming out. It's coming to your awareness. One of my uh, Virgos need these crystals for the month of January. Overall energy, we have the Eight of Cups, Piscean energy. Ooh, and then we've got the Four of Swords, Libra energy. Ooh, yikes. Ten of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy. And then we have the King of Wands in reverse. Leo energy could also be fire or air. There's been some kind of ending involving a king of wands energy eight of cups is wanting to move be past it wanting to move beyond it four of swords indicates that there has been some healing some time taken out like i said virgos i felt a lot of isolated energy for you this is the mini hermit card okay to the major arcana hermit <laughs> card this is recovery you're taking time out to recover with an ending with a king of wands energy um you could also be that king of wands keep in mind it can be vice versa but you're wanting to move past it and just put it behind you this is what you need to heal this is what you need to heal. And there's some kind of offer to build or repair. And it is coming with love. It's coming with love, whether you're doing this or they're doing this. But the awareness of the pain there and what really needs to be re resolved within yourself is coming to your awareness about this whole situation. 
it's about this king, whoever this king is to you. I feel like it's a soulmate for sure. And again, whether you're um, making this offer or they are, the offer is coming with love and an apology. But it's it's become painfully aware the massive amount of healing that needs to take place revolving around this person. Some of you might have realized that your connection with this person has been incredibly toxic and you've taken on um, or engaged in some of that same energy. I'm getting control manipulation. I got to be honest. I'm getting control manipulation. I'm getting some jealousy as well. But you want to put it behind you. And as you should, as you should. But Virgos, it's going to be a little intense. Take your time out which you already felt you doing, take your time out, isolate yourself if you have to, work through it, heal it, <coughs> and move on, okay? But there's definitely gonna be an offer. With love, to rebuild, it's up to you if you wanna take it or not, okay? Oh, Virgos, okay. <coughs> We're gonna do Cappies next. Oh, if I can get my throat straight. Hi, yay, yay. Okay, putting this aside. Let me get some water. Mm. 122 on my stove. Which means it's actually 1222 where I'm at. <clears throat> Ooh, copies. Just give me a minute here. <clears throat> mm. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I think I'm ready, copies. I think I'm ready. All right. Capricorns, last but not least, I imagine yours is going to be very intense because we're still going to be in that new moon eclipse energy for quite some time. And it's still very strong, by the way. It's still very strong. <coughs> Capricorns, Capricorns, Capricorns. Oh, by the way, happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday to my January Cappies. I will be doing the bonus birthday reading tomorrow, most likely. What crystals do my Capricorns need? For the month of January. What crystals do my Capricorns need for the month of January? What crystals do my Capricorns need? Ooh, ooh, that's a lot. Am I taking all these spirit? Oh my god, they said yes. Okay. Oh, this is a lot. So we have golden healer. A zestulite. Shit, you guys are gonna be lining too. Oh, and rhodozite. Okay, you guys. All three of these are about some intense ass healing, ancestral healing, karmic healing, and integration as well. All three of these are about that, okay? Again, the epitome of the energy we've been in, it's going to sound like a broken record for people who are watching all their signs, but it just is what it is. I mean, this is intense energy. It's eclipse energy, two eclipses um, that we're dealing with here, okay? So the other ones want to come out. What other crystals do my Capricorns need for the month of January? It's going to be an interesting birthday for you, Cappies. What other crystals do my Capricorns need? Let's see what we have here. Ooh, and Tiger's Eye. Oh, I'm so happy you guys got Tiger's Eye. Because <laughs> that means you guys are working towards abundance, okay? That means abundance is right on the precipice of this. And it's probably after you do this healing and integration that you're going to be really in your power. When we when we do this kind of integration, guys, integrating the shadow, and it's again, it's, it's not just a one and done process. It's a repetitive thing that we should all be doing, but this is a great time to be doing it with the energy that we're in. It does make us stronger, okay? It makes us stronger. It does help us ascend further or go into a next ascension or get ready for that. It also makes us more powerful. It makes us better manifestors as well. And that just brings in more abundance, okay? So let's read these. <laughs> so let's read these off. You know, I'm trying to think someone else had a zestulite. I think it was Scorpio. I think Scorpio also had this. If Scorpio is important to you. Okay, let's get to it. <clears throat> I'll just read them in order, the order they came out in. Golden healer, ultimate healing. Golden healers are imbued with powerful transformative healing energies that are a cap they are a catalyst for profound spiritual activation. Under oh. Oh, Cappy, some of you guys are in for, for another ascension. Uh it's so weird the way they showed it to me. They showed it to me as um as energy. Like literally energy, like but it was like lighting up. Not like your chakras. I know it probably sounds like chakras. It was weird. It's almost like energy balls like lighting up. Um yeah, so you guys are in for another ascension. So get ready for those who need to hear that. 
definitely not for those who've only had one is what they're telling me like if you've had more than a couple it's another one if you've never had one i don't think you're in this group this is this seems like it's for really ascended individuals okay for the, what the message i just got anyway understanding the quantum world helps you understand yourself the everyday self is bounded by five senses expanded by a six metaphysics but this can be transcended to move into a field that is non-local everywhere and nowhere at once where there is no time you create the event being observed oh my god i'm sorry capricorns you guys are stepping into some really intense cosmic manifestation shit i can i can feel it oh my god i can feel it it's almost like not your whole life is going to become about that but your life is going to be highly aspected by that okay where was i you create the event that is being observed allow your soul rather than your ego to be your guide recognize your potential to be an amazing healer your abilities needed honing and those who heal are soul scored to develop empathy much in your life needs transforming surrender willingly to the process someone clinging to the past holds you back encourage them to let go you may be asked to transform your environment or take on a challenging task do so with grace and ease healing flows through you <clears throat> It is a process, not something you do. Exception, the frequency of the stone is exceptionally high. It's great for the soul star and stellar gateway. It's great for channeling the Christ consciousness as well. Oh boy. Oh, Cappies, get ready. Get ready. So you guys ask me if it's going to be hard. <laughs> That's so relative. That's such a relative thing to, to ask. Um, is it going to be hard? It's going to be beneficial. <laughs> it's gonna be beneficial uh i feel like it's gonna change you a lot for those who are gonna be going through this for those who that this resonates with oh it's gonna make a second video soon sorry we lose like one second i'll try to catch it so we don't miss anything hard yeah i like oh there it goes <coughs> sorry kathy's give me a second that's all relative <clears throat> that's all relative Is it going to be hard? It's not important if it's hard. That's a better answer. It's not important if it's hard. It's beneficial. Sorry, that might be, that might be the Scorpio in me talking, but a Capricorn would understand that answer. It doesn't matter if it's hard. It's beneficial. Azestulite. Cosmic evolution. Azestulites are imbued with immense spiritual energy and information for guidance and insight. They are here to help Earth ascend into a higher expression of consciousness. Yeah, you guys are totally ascending. You are a being of light here to help Earth evolve. Allow, allow, excuse me. Although you need to rise above mundane concerns, oh, keep your feet on the ground and deal with the everyday. So you guys need to allow yourself to do this. Cappies, you're not going to want to hear this. Some of you guys are going to have to take some time out to, to deal with this process, okay? I know, I know. But I have to do this and I have to do that. You also got to take care of this, okay? <laughs> you also have to take care of uh, ascending into a higher level of consciousness. And that requires time. That also requires energy. And you can't give a whole lot of yourself to a lot of things at once if you're doing this process. It will actually just make it, that will make it harder, Okay, that will actually make this process harder. I know you guys don't want to take that time, but you need to take that time. Okay, allow yourself, that slip was a psychic slip. You have to allow yourself to do this and rise above the mundane concerns, like your to-do list. I know, it sucks. I hate 3D stuff too, okay? <laughs> but this is really important. This is really important. Where were we? Too much emphasis on sweetness and light leads to ignoring your shadow energies, which become inauthentic and lethal. Niceness, if not acknowledged and integrated, stay real, leave your ego behind. You are here to represent spiritual light on earth and help it evolve. Make yourself heard. A project is successful no matter what. Avoid becoming impractical and having too high an opinion of yourself to the detriment of others. Retain your humility. Recognizing that every soul is precious ensures you remain in cosmic harmony. The frequency of the stones is exceptionally high, great for all the chakras, but best for the crown, and assisting the earth to evolve. Oh boy. All right, now let's do rhodosite. <laughs> Cappies, I'm kind of excited for you. I'm excited for you guys to do this kind of work. Rhodosite, mighty power. 
Zingy Rhodozite is excellent for removing blockages and for adding vitality to the physical body. It cleanses, activates, and powers up all the chakras and harmonizing, harmonizes the etherical bodies. This crystal encourages the flow of kundalini energy to all the cells and the spaces between. Karmic imprints from your past lives or emotional wounds from earlier in your present life may be creating a state of psychosomatic disease. Your own negative or compulsive thought patterns also play a part, as can those of other people directed towards you. Check out the harmony or lack of it in your environment. Earth energies may be disrupting your well-being. The ground around your workplace and your home may need healing and stabilizing by planting suitable crystals in the earth. Living in a healthy, stable environment creates a stable physical body. The frequency of the stone is earthy and high, great for the earth star, the solar plexus, um, and also great for healing the earth itself. Okay, yeah. Integrating your shadow, getting aligned. Some of you guys are, some of you guys are gonna go through a really, um, some of you guys are going to go through another ascension for those who are highly ascended already. And you need to make time for that. You need to make time for that. I know. I know. We have 3D stuff going on. I know. But Capricorns, is everything on your to-do list necessary? I'm just saying. Just ask yourself that. Okay. Tiger's Eye, Empowerment. Tiger's Eye symbolizes prosperity and encourages right use of power. It balances your needs and with those of others finding solutions. A child of the sun and earth with untold powers, you make your own fate. Assert yourself wisely, bring hidden talents to the fore and accept your imperfections. There's a tendency towards obsessiveness. <laughs> I love you, Cappies. Or becoming spaced out. Ground yourself. Explore your past lives to discover causes of these traits. Deal sensibly with day-to-day -day reality and face challenges boldly. Unlock your creativity. Find prosperity and lasting success. Long journeys and celebrations lie ahead. Ahead. <laughs> Excuse me. Your personal power, confidence, and energy are high. Use them wisely. Commit to goals. Distinguish between wishful thinking and what you really need. And what you really need on your to-do list, Cappies. Assist friends to gain their heart's desire. Past lives throw light on current situations. Doing what gives you joy increases your well-being. The frequency of the stones earthy to high depending on the color. Great for the solar plexus and third eyes and great for Leos and Capricorns and becoming empowered. Very nice, Cappies. All right, so let's break these down in tarot cards, see why you need these crystals. <clears throat> oh, my throat chakra may need a break after this. Mm. Okay. Using Rider Wait for this one. Why do my Capricorns need these crystals for the month of January? Why do my Capricorns need these crystals for the month of January? Why do my Capricorns need these crystals for the month of January? Why do my Capricorns need these crystals for the month of January? <clears throat> Why do my Capricorns need these crystals for the month of January? Why do my Capricorns? Ooh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. all right, Cappies, now we're talking. Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy, and then the Five of Cups in reverse, Scorpionic energy. You have abundance coming in, Capricorns. You do. All those goals you put into place, all those things you wanted, those blessings, the long-term security, the career you wanted, uh, the home you wanted, the stability. I'm getting stability more so than it, more so than anything. You're going to be just fine. Five of Cups in reverse, so that indicates to me that you had, you have had some setbacks okay i feel like this is you coming out of your transformative process and i feel like this is you ascending and once you ascend <clears throat> excuse me or just come out of that major healing process the transformative process so a lot of us are going to be going through you're going to have your abundance and you're going to have your stability but you also have to recognize you have to take time out to deal with this okay you got to do that healing and whatever you think you've lost, whatever setbacks you think you've had, you will you will have rewards. You will have that abundance. Some of you don't believe that you will. Some of you don't believe you will. I, I'm just being honest with what I feel, with what I'm getting intuitively. Some of you really don't believe that you're going to get this, but you will. But you have to sit back. <laughs> you got to get aligned. You got to deal with whatever setbacks you had and accept whatever set setbacks you had and accept that they happen for a reason. And then you're, some of you, like I said, will be going through an ascension and you're going to get that abundance. Very nice. Let's see what else wants to come out. <clears throat> Why 
I also made Capricorns in these crystals from the month of January. Why else do my Capricorns need these crystals from the month of January? Ooh, when did the node switch? They just brought that up to me. I don't know exactly when they switch. I have to look. I feel like it's in the next few months. I could be wrong, but I feel like it's in the next few months. Whenever the nodes switch out of Cancer and Capricorn, you might get a little gift. You might get a little gift or a surprising opportunity, Capricorns. Cancers will probably too. Why do my Capricorns need these crystals from the month of January? Oh, we only got one other card. Oh, Ten of Wands. Sag energy. Stop breaking your back, Capricorns. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> stop breaking your back. Okay, stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Some of you are really burdened by the idea of not getting this Ten of Pentacles. By the way, you have two tens on the board. Very indicative of ending cycles here to just start new ones. But I do feel like you're getting this. You will be getting this. It's, a, it's right here. It's right here. And with the Ten of Wands, you might have put on a lot of work and effort to get this already. You might have had setbacks along the way, and those setbacks might have been very burdensome to you, but you will be getting it. You will be getting it. You have to work smarter, not harder. I said this in a reading recently, too. You also have to work smarter, not harder. Brute force and energy don't get you abundance. They don't get you success. That is a myth, okay? <laughs> That's a myth. It's about working smart. It's about working smart, okay? Some of you also have to get rid of some of the stuff on your to-do list, like I said before, because it will be too much. It will be too much and you won't be able to go through this process effectively in order to attain your abundance and to attain your goals and what it is you've actually been seeking out this whole time, okay? Over energy, we do have the Queen of Pentacles, which is your court card, Cappy. could also be Earth or Water. Oh, and then we've got the Eight of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy. You will be released from these burdens. Ah, there we go. <clears throat> You have to release the fear of not getting this. You will be released from this. You will be released from this if you surrender to the process. If you surrender to the process of healing, if you surrender to the process of transformative energy and going through that death process that all of us will be going through, okay? Because it will be to your benefit. It will be to your benefit and understand that you can't take on every everything. You're pretty, you're pretty amazing Capricorns, but you can't do everything, okay? Especially when it comes to your spiritual pur um, purpose, your spiritual path. And any ascensions that some of you guys are going to be going into, that requires energy, that requires your time. You can't take on all the 3D stuff in the world. You just can't do it. Do it smart. Don't do it the hard way. And you won't have the fear about that anymore because you'll be realizing that you're going to be getting it. But you have to do it the smart way, not the hard way. Okay? Oh, Cappies. Okay. Taurus, Virgos, and Capricorns. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you found it very beneficial, insightful, and helpful. Don't forget to check out Patreon and Vimeo where we do have different content. It's not, ex they're not extended. It's completely different content. Okay. All right, guys, I gotta go. I gotta go rest my throat <laughs> before I go ahead and I do, actually, I think I'm gonna do the energy uh, shift reading next. Um, What am I gonna do next? Yeah, I think I'm gonna do the energy shift reading next and then I might do a monthly or two for Patreon and then I might go back to the crystals. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed that and don't forget to check out all the other stuff and I'll see you guys later. Have a great first month of 2020 and I'll see you guys soon. Namaste.